So I joined CFL back in grade seven. My reason to join CFL was that I was bored. It's not the most inspiring story, but yeah, school was boring. All the classes there, and after coming home, I used to just waste my time watching YouTube the entire day. I was a couch potato basically. Then uh, once grade six ended, my parents told me about CFL. Yeah, uh, so I decided to give it a try. I mean, I had nothing to lose. So I decided I started attending uh, three classes a week, two two hours each day, two hours each class, and that's how my journey with CFL began. And instantly, I enjoyed it. Uh, now before I used before I joined, I used to wait for classes to end. I wait for, I used to wait for school to end. But now I waited for school to end, and I was really excited about it because now I used to as soon as class ends, I used to tell my mom, "Let's drive quickly. Let's reach CFL quickly." The reason I wanted to get here quickly was once I once we came here, me and a bunch of others, we used to have these tournaments uh, of we used, uh, various games. We used to just we had time until the class teacher arrived. So over the course of the entire year, we had so many tournaments on simple games like tic tac toe, connect four, join the boxes, and that you know kept me really excited to be for the first one to CFL because that would give me a head start. And over the end of the year, I had accumulated over hundreds of points. So yeah. Not bragging, but I came first in that. As for the classes, well, uh, aside from the regular subjects, we had this class, uh, GMAT classes, and that was where the competition was. Uh, the teacher there used to come here and divide us into teams, and used to give problems. Every problem you solve, you get a point, and by the end of the class, you used to get whoever accumulates the maximum number of points wins. That, oh my God, that was the one of the highlights of my moments. We used to. We were so excited for GMAT classes. We used to get ready. We used to keep our pencils up, books ready. You know, just mentally prepare ourselves because there was a lot of competition among ourselves. We wanted to be the team to win. I'm mean, sure there's no prize or anything, but just the fact of winning seemed to you know really motivate us. Now sixth grade, seventh grade was over, and now it was eighth. My mom asked if you wanted to join CFL again, and I said absolutely, yeah, because. This was not an opportunity I wanted to miss. Seventh grade again, GMAT classes, wonderful. Now we had physics, we had chemistry, and there were experiments being performed this time. Our one of our physics teacher had this experiment where you could tell the difference between a boiled egg and an unboiled egg, and that has stuck with me all these years. So now sometimes I just walk into the kitchen, and my mom's there, and I pick an egg and ask her, "You want to know if this boiled or unboiled?" She'll say no, and I just show her if it's boiled or unboiled. So you know that's one of the things that I still have to this day as a fond memory. One more oh, wonderful memory I had of that time is when we were learning Newton's laws of motion. Our teacher made us translate all those laws into different languages. So like we had um, Newton's laws in Kannada and Tulu in Tamil also, and I personally translated it into Konkani. And so the reasoning was you could. Remember it longer if you had done such ridiculous stuff, and yeah, I have now not forgotten the laws of Newton till now. Then, tenth grade, and this all went on until tenth grade because tenth grade I think was a really important time for me. There were so many exams, there were Olympiads all this time, and by tenth grade I had I was used to all of this uh, because in CFL, okay, they have this strategy that we follow. You first learn the subject, solve plenty of problems on it, keep a test, then you revise. As a test part, the thing is, there is so much competition. So every time you'll have to do better than yourself. You have to one up everyone else, and that you know, yeah, it makes sure make sure that you stay at the top of your game. I remember one of the GMAT tests. I didn't do that great, and uh, one of this one of the guys rubbed it in my face. Ha! I did better than you. I was really annoyed, so I took a book and sat and studied until the next week. Until the next week, my mom actually was really surprised that I was studying because, like I said, couch potato. I didn't usually take books, so she was like, "But again, and I beat the guy. I rubbed it in his face the next week." These kind of competitions they also help foster curiosity, and that I really think is important. And now, once tenth grade was over. I had to make a choice of a college, so it was obviously CFL. There wasn't any doubt whatsoever. Join CFL, 
the thing this time different was so this time the mem- uh, you know the students came from all over Mangalore and all over Karnataka too so now the competition was even more and so in my batch uh, you know we, there was a lot of competition over the marks over the and a healthy competition I mean there were, no one is to make fun of you if you got less nothing instead if you got less you could ask someone to help you and they would just you know sit and you know teach you I personally remember I uh, have tutored this one guy who was bad in physics I'm excellent in physics so it's a really a helpful environment and moreover we still have experiments uh, one time when we were learning of what surface tension uh, our physics teacher brought this soap tray of bubble a uh, soap tray and we had to you know learn about how bubbles exert a force and stuff after he left we kind of went crazy with it just started you know making bubbles ourselves blowing on the class was a mess but it was really fun